Do you know how to simplify a rational expression by factoring? Well, first, let's look at simplifying rational expressions. Here we have 8x squared divided by 4x. We simplif simplify the coefficients separate from the variables. 4 goes into 8 twice. x divides into x squared. We take 1x away and we're left with an x. This is our answer. We could also look at one like this. 6x divided by 3xy. Start with the coefficients. 3 goes into 6 two times. x and x cancel, but we're left with y in the denominator. So our answer is 2y. Now let's look at simplifying rational expressions where we need to use factoring. x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by 2x minus 2. Now, to work with this rational expression, we have to factor the numerator and the denominator. We can factor the numerator into two binomials. x squared becomes x and x. And now we need a term that adds together to equal this and multiplies together to equal this. We can add plus 2 plus 3 in our numerator. And when we, when we use FOIL to multiply these two binomials, we will end up with this. Now in the, in the denominator, we can factor out the greatest common factor of 2 from both of these terms. And we end up with x minus 2. This is the simplified version of this rational expression. We used factoring to simplify it. Let's look at another one. x squared plus 3x minus 4 divided by 3x minus 3. Again, we can factor the numerator into two binomials. x squared factors to x and x, and then we can factor again to find two terms that add together to equal this and multiply together to equal this. So we have minus 1 plus 4 in our numerator. Now in the denominator, we can't factor that into two binomials, but we can take out the greatest common factor of 3, which leaves us with x minus 1. Now look, there are two common binomials in the numerator and the denominator. Just like when you had this in a rational expression, you could simplify it. We can simplify these two binomials. That leaves us with an answer of x plus 4 divided by 3. This is the simplified version of the rational expression. Let's look at one more. Here we have x squared plus x minus 12 divided by 8x plus 32. We can factor the numerator into two binomials. And we have x and x. We want two terms that add together to give us a 1 and multiply together to give us a negative 12. So that would mean that we have a positive 4 and a negative 3 here. In the denominator, we can factor out the greatest common factor of 8 and we're left with x plus 4. Uh, here it is again. We have a binomial common in the numerator and the denominator. We simplify those and we're left with x minus 3 over 8. This is our final answer and our work is complete.